Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the fourth forces problem. D that is points and minimum distance. Okay. So we are given uh, integer array that is of length 2n and we have to split these two of n integers into n pairs such that each pair will represent the coordinate of a point on a plane. Okay. Each number from a sequence of A should become a, become the X or Y coordinate of exactly one point. Note that some points can be equal. After the points are formed, you have to choose a path as such that, uh, that starts from one of these two points, one of these points and ends at one of these points. And we have to visit all points at once. The uh, length of S is the sum of distance between all adjacent points on the path in this problem the distance between two points will be calculated like this x x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2 and we will take the absolute of m and then just add it and our task is we have to minimize this path okay so let's see some example for understanding uh, so in the first case we have 15 1 10 and five. So let it be. We have x one as this like uh, fifteen comma five, or we can say fifteen comma one. Like this is one coordinate, and consider another coordinate like ten comma five. So this is x two. This is x one. So we need to determine the uh, value, uh, the summation. Okay. So what is that possible? Like we can do that 15 minus 10, that will be 4. Basically x1 minus x2. And then we need to do y1 minus y2, that is 5 minus 1. That will be 4. Sorry, uh, 5. Okay. So if you add them, that will be 9, okay. So this is the answer for this. And how can we take this? That is the main point. So let, let's see one more example for better understanding. How can we solve that problem? Uh, okay, so we have 10, 30, 30. So let's suppose we can do sorting. Let's sort this. Why sort? Like we want to sort because we want to minimize the difference. That is the main goal. So that is why we are doing sorting. So consider this 10, 10. This is the sorted I'm writing. 10, 10. Then we have 20, 20. And then 30. And again 30. Let's think about this possibility. If you pair the like first n with the last n, like this one is paired with first one, this one is paired with this, and this one is paired with this. Okay. If that is the case, then we need to calculate the difference. Okay. So we need to do x1 minus x2. So basically, it doesn't matter. So if we do x1 minus x2, that will be, uh, we will do this 10 minus 10, that will be 0. Then we need to do 10 minus 20, absolute value is 10, so we will take 10. Then in this case, 10, 20, 20 and 30, that will be 10 again, and 30 and 30, that will be 0. Because we need to take x1 minus x2 then x by 1 minus by 2 that is the main goal for this so we need to do that so like one thing you can notice there is a statement this if there are multiple answers then print any of them that means there is some pattern and you need to find that pattern and print that that is the simple thing so the pattern is like you can calculate the sum you can calculate the sum starting from this here 
i i equal to 0 to i less than n minus 1 and calculate the sum from i uh, like this is d of i plus 1 minus d of i okay so if you do that so you will get the sum ah, okay you will get that the sum for first x x axis then you need to calculate the sum for y axis and what you need to do you just need to do i equal to n and i should be less than 2 cross n minus 1 you can calculate the sum add the sum under plus the sum uh, difference of this b of i plus 1 minus b of i so we'll get the total answer so the summation you got and the pair you can do like the pair will be d of i comma d of i plus n okay that will be the pair for printing these values hope you understood this solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding